I'm inspired by what we're able to do here and what our goal and mission is. And it really is to take basic science and translate it into new medications. So people um, really struggle with relapse after going through rehab and um, getting clean. And one of the really big factors or triggers for a relapse is encountering things that uh, are associated with the drug use. And those, at the end of the day, are, are simply memories. It's clearly an excruciating experience. I have people that email me that offer to be subjects in our testing um, because they said they'll give anything to get rid of these memories. And so I'd really like to be able to give those people hope. We set out with a really you know, difficult task in front of us would be to find some mechanism that's unique to the way that drug-associated memories are stored. And we stumbled on something. We, we got an effect that we never would have predicted, um, but it turned out to be something that was really unique in how the brain was storing a memory that's associated with methamphetamine. And so we have a manipulation where we can go in and selectively target those memories associated with methamphetamine while all others' memories stay intact as far as we've tested in our you know, basic science experiments. Now I'm working with a medicinal chemist here at Scripps because we have a really great drug discovery and development program so that we can start to um, actually develop medications for people. What gets me out of bed every morning is knowing that there is a chance to translate my findings into something that would actually help people and society. And we're just uniquely situated to be able to do that and to be driven to do that.